I was asked the other day about why do we uh, ground our electrical in our houses and things here. If we had uh, <clears throat> just a transformer, I'll go ahead and draw, let's we'll center tap it, and we said so we didn't have a ground there. So we just had our 110 volts here and 110 volts here. We could still have a neutral that was not grounded and this would be relatively safe in itself because if nothing is grounded it's unlikely that you short out anywhere and have a problem as far as electricity conducting to you because you'd have to short it out say this part here to ground and then something else to ground before you would have a real problem with getting shot so people say why do we ground the darn thing then why do we make it more dangerous well you got to look at the overhead lines what's going on with the rest of this we're just doing single phase right now, but we have this overhead line here, and let's say we ground this one. Now, why do we ground one side of our line? We ground one side of our line so that if this line gets shorted out, if it uh, fails to ground, we do something so that you can find out if one of them is out there straggling, because this is lots of voltage up here. This is not little voltage. And one of the lower, I think it's 4640, but I'm not going to say. I'm just going to call it 4 kilovolts just in general and they'll have a transformer like this out on your pole and of course it's grounded here and connected actually to the other side so that you have a connection and here is where the reason for grounding this comes in if this transformer goes bad if this part here shorts over to here all of your power plugs in your house are now putting out 4,000 volts this is bad if we connect a ground here also if it shorts out over to here it immediately trips uh, there'd be a fuse actually there'd be a fuse in the circuit up here and that will blow and you'll see that pop at your transformer because there's too much load on it so um, it, it, it has more to do with the whole system than it does directly with your small transformer that seems to be isolated